Hello again and welcome back to Eco Dream Venture. My name is Kelvin Simmons and today we're going to be talking about how SureStreamer makes power line networking practical, effective and safe for your HTPLC power line adapter. Now as in the previous video with the WD Live wire, we're going to prove to you two things today. We're going to prove to you that power line experts are absolutely correct in telling you to observe all four impractical restrictions because if you do, you get a decent enough connection rate to stream HD files. We're also going to prove to you that by, uh, that by just adding SureStreamer at the power line adapter end, we will create a power line adapter setup which is practical, effective and safe and at the same time ignore all four impractical restrictions recommended to us by the experts. So let's take a look shall we? We have here the same entertainment station as we did in the previous video. We have the PS3 game console that's going to stream the full HD file from the server using power line. It's going to be displayed on the LCD TV here. We've got two laptops. Uh, you notice that we added an additional laptop. This is because the HD PLC power line adapter does not have a utility to track its performance. So we needed a more practical way to track the performance of the HD PLC. And the presence of the laptops are going to be used to stream additional HD files from the same server through only one power line adapter. So essentially making this entertainment station here a multi-stream HD um, station. Okay, we also have the four port switch which is connected to the laptops as well as the PS3. And of course we have the HD PLC power line adapter. Now all the equipment that you see here, draw power supply from one wall outlet as in the previous video. So if you come closer, um, because we were confined to that one wall outlet, you'd see we use a power strip, but immediately you'd notice that only the power supply for the HD PLC power line adapter is turned on. The power supply for the interconnected equipment has been switched off. So let me so show you where the interconnected equipment uh, are. All these are interconnected equipment and they're currently turned, on, uh, turned off right now. Okay. You'd also notice that we did not use any search protection device as the HD PLC power line adapter plugs directly to this um, power strip or power bar. And you'd notice that we are actually having a uh, mobile phone here which is connected to a mobile phone charger, but the mobile phone charger is currently switched off. Okay? So we've intentionally followed all four impractical restrictions recommended to us by the experts. So you can see if we can actually stream a full HD file uh, from, the, uh, from the server to this laptop right here. Oh, by the way, both the laptops here are running on backup battery. So let's take a look. Now we're going to go to the network. We're going to go to the main folder, which is um, sample videos, subfolder, HD videos, and we're going to stream a full HD file. Okay, while this is loading, uh, please pay attention to both the audio and visual. Okay. Okay, great. So I think you can see that um, the full HD file is streaming flawlessly. Um, pretty good audio and visual. Um, so as you can see, if you follow all four impractical restrictions, you're immediately um, able to get a good enough connection rate to stream a full HD file. But immediately we realize that this setup right here becomes highly impractical. Um, for a setup where you have a PS3 game console, a couple of laptops and a 42-inch LCD TV, you want to make the most out of the equipment here. So let's take a look and see if we can actually create uh, a power line adapter setup which is practical, effective and safe but yet at the same time ignore all four impractical restrictions. Let's start by turning on the noise generating equipment in the form of the uh, mobile phone charger here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn on the power supply for the interconnected equipment and switch on the uh, mobile phone charger. Let's take a look. Okay, so you immediately see the effect of having a mobile phone charger plugged into the same power line adapter setup. The stream stops immediately. Okay, so experts are absolutely right in telling you to observe all their four impractical restrictions because if you do, if you do not, this is what happens. Okay, now let's carry on. We're going to go on and, and uh, ignore more impractical restrictions. Let me just stop this stream right now. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on all the power supply for the interconnected equipment that you see here. Okay, so and because we have all the power supply of the interconnected equipment turned on right now, we no longer have to stream the full HD file solely to this particular laptop. So we're going to stream the file from the server using the PS3. It's going to be displayed on this 42-inch LCD TV. Um, since we have the switch powered on right now, we are going to reroute the connection that was originally from the HD PLC power line adapter to the laptop. So we're going to remove this connection which is from the HD PLC power line adapter and connect it back to the switch. And then from the switch, we're going to connect 
the connection, uh, the LAN cable to the laptop. Okay. Now let me just turn on the PS3 and switch on the TV, and we'll just take a look. And let me just close this window here. Okay. As soon as the PS3 boots up, we'll take a look at the HD files streaming from the server to the LCD TV. Okay, so the PS3 has now been turned on. We're going to go through the same network in this, play, in this particular case, uh, CalLab. Um, same main folder, which is the sample videos. Same subfolder, HD videos. We're going to stream a slightly longer HD file, Big Bug Bunny 1080p. Okay. Now, while this is loading, I want you to pay attention to the audio and visual when, once it's loaded. And also, you'd notice uh, that this is going to be um, streamed without sure streamer. Okay. So we're still waiting. And we're still waiting. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so immediately you notice that there is stutter on, on both the audio and visual. So the HDPLC power line adapter is obviously str uh, struggling to actually stream the full HD file right now. Okay? So let's take a look and see what happens when we continue to ignore more impractical restrictions. Let me turn this stream off right now. I'm going to include a search protection device, a generic search protection device, okay? Just like the one that you can see right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the power supply for the HDPLC power line adapter right here. Why don't you come closer and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to include the generic search protection device, which I'm going to be plugging into this power strip. The plug of the HDPLC will be plugged into the generic search protection device, like such. And I'm going to turn the power supply on. Okay. Now, now that the uh, generic SPD has been included in the setup, let's take a look and see if we, we are able to stream uh, the same full HD file. Okay. So we go to sample videos, the same uh, subfolder which is HD videos, and we're going to try again to stream Big Bug Bunny 1080p. Okay. So let's take a look again at the audio and visual. Give it a little time. Uh, to load, you notice that when you ignore all four impractical restrictions, the loading time becomes a little bit longer, the audio and visual is um, filled with light, and this is without sure streamer, okay? As you can see, we're still waiting for the, for the HD file to load. Okay, I tell you what, while waiting for this, let's take a look at this laptop right here and see if we can actually stream another file from the server. So I'm going to go into the same um, uh, network, if I can actually ex access it. Okay, it's taking some time to access um, the network. So we're still waiting for it. So as you can see, I believe that um, the connection has been lost immediately when we introduced the search protection device. So there you go. We are not able to actually connect to the network. Let me just close it right here. As you can see, um, the stream for the PS, uh, from the PS3, it's still trying to load that video. So it becomes very apparent. Let me just stop this right now. It says an error has occurred, a network error has occurred. So it becomes pretty obvious that when you include the generic SPD or search protection device into a power line adapter setup, you're not able to actually uh, even connect to your network. So again, we are highlighting that the Powerline experts are absolutely correct because if you follow all four impractical restrictions, you are able to stream a full HD file, but if you don't, this is the result you'll be getting. Okay, so now, now that we've intentionally um, ignored all four impractical restrictions uh, to show you that uh, if you do not follow the experts, you won't be able to actually stream a full HD file. Let's see what happens when we introduce Sure Streamer into the setup. So right now, I'm gonna introduce Sure streamer into both the power line adapter setup, starting with this entertainment station right here. Now I have with me a um, Sure streamer model right here. Now the Sure streamer is also a performance proven lightning isolator or search protection device. So all I'm going to do right now is to replace the, uh, the generic search protection device 
with the Shure streamer. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn off all the um, equipment power supply. I'm going to turn off the PS3 first. Switch off the power supply for the TV. Okay. And switch off all the individual interconnected equipment power supply right here. Switch off the switch for the uh, uh, interconnected equipment and for the HTPLC power line adapter. Now watch closely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the generic search protection device from this setup. So let me just remove this, place it right here. Okay. And I'm going to include Sure Streamer. So Sure Streamer is going to be plugged directly into the power strip. And the, the plug for the HDPLC power line adapter is going to be plugged into Sure Streamer, like such. Interconnected equipment, power supply, plugged into the Sure Streamer, like such. Okay? All right, now we're going to leave this session for a while because obviously we're going to have to do the same for the server end as well. So if you follow me, we're going to introduce Sure Streamer at the server end. Okay? Now, as you can see, we also have a, another HDPLC power line adapter here. So we're going to introduce Sure. This is another model of the Sure streamer. Again, this model is also a performance-proven lightning isolator or surge protection device. So let me go ahead and turn off the um, terminal here. Right. OK, fantastic. Now I'm going to turn off the power supply for the interconnected equipment, turn off the switch here, and also for the HDPLC power line adapter, remove both the switches or the plugs. And then I'm going to introduce Sure Streamer right here. Now the Sure Streamer is going to be plugged directly into the wall, like such. HDPLC um, plug is going to be connected to the Sure Streamer like such. And the interconnected equipment connected to the Sure Streamer like such. Okay, all right, just like that, I'm going to just turn on the power supply, put up the interconnected equipment, and then we're going to head on back to our entertainment station to stream the Full HD files again. So why don't you follow me? All right, so now that we've introduced Sure Streamer and replaced the generic search protection device, at both the power line adapter ends. Let's take a look and see what happens. I'm going to turn on the power supply for the Sure Streamer right now. I'm going to turn on the power supply for all the interconnected equipment. And I'm going to turn on the power supply for the cell phone charger. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the PS3, turn on the TV, and we're going to check and see uh, if there's any difference in the results of the HD file streaming. Okay, so we give it a moment for the uh, PS3 to boot up. It's coming up just in a moment. Alright, PS3 is up right about now. Okay, we're going to go to the same uh, network, same main folder, sample videos, there you go. Same subfolder HD videos. And we're going to try and stream the same full HD file, Big Papani. Now, while this is loading, I want you to do again when it's load when it's already fully loaded. Pay again attention to the audio and visual to see if there's any lag or stutter. Remember, this setup has now been included with Sure Streamer on both the power line adapter ends. Okay. All right. I think there you go. Fantastic. So far, so good. Audio and visual is pristine. Let's take a look and see what happens when we introduce another HD stream. So if you come closer, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to the same network. I'm going to go to the same main folder, which is sample videos. And I'm going to go to the same sub folder, which is HD videos to stream another HD file from the same server through the same HD power line adapter. Okay, let's take Toy Story. Okay, let's take a look at what happens now. It's actually loading. Okay. 
Okay, it's up and running. Remember guys, this is with Sure Streamer. Okay, you notice that the audio and visual for the second HD stream, it's still pristine. Audio, like free, visual, like free. Let's take a look and see what happens when we introduce a third HD stream through this laptop right here. Again, I'm going to go through the same network. I'm going to go to the same main folder, which is sample videos. Same subfolder, which is HD videos. And let's take another HD file. Inception trailer. Okay, again, pay attention to both the audio and visual on this third HD stream. Okay, so as you can see, the audio and visual for both three HD streams are lag free and stutter free right now. You can see that we are actually using Sure Streamer in this particular setup. So just by adding Sure Streamer on both the power line adapter ends, we've managed to create a power line adapter setup which is practical, effective and safe and at the same time ignore all four impractical restrictions recommended to us by the power line experts but yet enhance the connection rate of the power line adapter as you can see okay so you guys can ex expect um, sure streamer sure streamer to be installed globally as soon as we get a global partner and the reason we need a global partner is because we anticipate that sales will be beyond our capability to, uh, to support as soon as uh, sure streamer has been launched now we've been trying to get ourselves a global partner for a few years now but um, we have failed to do so or been un uh, unlucky this video or demonstration may help. Okay, so if you guys are at all interested, shocked, int uh, or curious about the uh, the results you see in this demonstration, we urge you to contact us, write to us, email us, or even fly down here to check out the demonstration for yourself firsthand. Because we 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 really hate to see a, a, a great product like Sure Streamer go to waste. Okay, thank you so much for your time and for following us. My name is Kelvin Simmons from Eco Dream Venture. And remember, with Sure Streamer, you'll never miss a bit.